Hello Leo, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. Take parts that do and leave the rest alone. You might want to look at the playlist for Leo on my channel for November. There's messages there or you might want to look at your moon and rising signs. That will help you out as well. We have compromise. Now people don't like to hear the word, comprom the word compromise. They think it's about giving in. It's not about giving in, it's about finding the easiest path to, that you can find to achieve your goals. Now you can see how well balanced these scales are and this is where we want to be uh, to help bring our goals forward. So it's about finding middle ground. It could be um, we need to find the easiest way forward. We don't want to be creating hurdles for ourselves. You're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. So you are close to it. So stay well balanced here. Do whatever you need to do to uh, keep yourself on course here. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. So your goals are about ready to come to fruition here. Stay in a well balanced place. Do whatever you need to do here to keep things balanced out because uh, that's what helps bring your goals in. Don't fight against the tide. You want to be going downstream. Going with the flow, if you like. Two of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. The Justice card. The Magician. It's your goals, you see. The overall energy is the Seven of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Beautiful. The Four of Swords. The Eight of Cups. And the death card. Now this is about change. The, your goals are going to come to a fresh and you're going to achieve something here and it's going to bring change. Now where will I start? This is a transformational energy. So this is scorpion energy and it's obviously a major arcana. It's out with the old and in with the new. So conclusions are going to be reached and there's massive change coming into your life. It's transformational change. So you're going to achieve, things are going to come to fruition. So please stay well balanced about this. Now you're going to have to make a decision here that you're putting off. Now this is about how to grow your pentacles. You're feeling disappointed and left out in the cold and you're going to have to make a decision on how to bring this stability back. It's getting the clarity you need after there's been some sort of deception or underhandedness that's went on. Now the overall energy here is about deception and underhandedness. Somebody's been trying to get away with something here. So. It's left you disappointed and out in the cold, but you're going to have to make a decision about how to go forward. So you can take this knowledge you've gained and you can use it to your advantage. And you can say, right, I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to get out of here now. Because what I'm in is no longer fulfilling me. Now, this could be jobs that are not fulfilling you anymore. There's no job satisfaction. It could be relationships. There's something missing here and you know it. So it's about leaving these situations behind and going towards the nine of cups, which is your wish fulfillment. Now, we don't want to be focusing and coming from a place of lack and disappointment because we'll only attract more lack to our life. If you look here, there's refuge in this church. And if these people go into this church, there's stability that can still be built on. So it's about making that decision that you're putting off to look at these pentacles and how you're going to grow them. Now, this could be in any area of your life we're talking about. You might have to find a compromise along the way. You might want to take this information you've gained and use it to your advantage. But this could be within your work life, your finances, your relationships or your environments. So it can be different for everybody. But sometimes we put this decision off because we can't see the outcome further down the line or we feel we've not got enough information. But it's about making decisions about situations that are no longer fulfilling you. We've got to leave them behind now. And what we need to be doing, if we need to make decisions, we want to be reviewing things, looking at what's went on and seeing how we've come and how we've dealt with things. Review them to help making your decisions. Always tune in your intuition when you're making decisions here because decision, uh, your intuition is always your guidance system. It never lets you down. So how you're thinking, feeling, sensing and what you're seeing around you is going to help you with your decision making and your strategy, mental strategy about how you're going to go forward. Because he's been through battle, so he needs to think now how he's going to go forward, how he's going to deal with this deception 
underhandedness or cheating, whatever this is for you, and how we're going to bring back contentment into our life. Now, you might want to take yourself away as well from these environments where this is going on and do a bit of soul searching here. And this will help you find the balance you need to make this decision. Now, this could be recovery as well. You might have been ill. For those that have been ill, you, could, you know, you might be recovering from illness. But it's about recovering from whatever this is, what you've learned here, and making a decision to go forward. You're going to have to make a decision whether you like it or not here, Leo. Now, this could be making new goals for yourself. You could be deciding you might have to make adjustments because you might be, you're nearly achieving your goals. So it might be there's something you've learned here. It doesn't mean to say because there's any kind of deception going on that you'll never reach your goals. It's about going, recognising what's missing and going towards them. So you might have to make new goals for yourself. This is a time to start. As above, so below. He's got the Midas touch. If you're not close to achieving your goals, it might be that you might need, and you might need to make the adjustments to bring your goals in because you'll be close to, you're close towards your wish fulfillment using the knowledge here and coming up with a strategy, a well-balanced strategy about how you want to go forward to achieve your goals. Or it might be for some of you, you might have to set new goals. So everything's correct now for you to go towards, to leave behind things that are unfulfilling and go towards more fulfilling situations. Now, it's about justice here. The universe is trying to support you to make this decision. And they're telling you, take the easiest path to go towards achieving what it is you want for yourself here. Because you're going to get clarity. There's information, there's a legal situation that could go in your favour or a legal situation that's going to bring clarity forward so that you can make new goals and go forward. Now, there's a lot of victory going to come out from the clarity that's coming in. Now, it might be there's deception here and it's the information you're taking has gave you the clarity you need to go forward. So the universe will support you in that sense as well. So it could be karmic justice that's at play here. Karmic justice, when there's legal situations coming to fruition, is about the best outcome for everybody involved. That's what the universe is doing here. So it's going to help you make the decision that's right for you. You're going to get the clarity to be able to go forward to create new goals or you're going to get the clarity you need to go forward to bring your goals to fruition. Either way, conclusions are within reach here. And this is transformative. It's major change. So it could be out with the old and in with the new. Definitely. Out with the old and in with the new. So we want to, although there's been upset and things, whatever we're learning here, whatever we've been through, it's about looking now, not being disappointed, taking that knowledge we have and focusing on the growth that we can still bring into our life and moving away from unfulfilling situations towards our wish fulfillment. This decision is going to have to be made. There's going to be some sort of compromise coming along the way. So you're going to have to review things here, Leo. And like I say, it could be helping you go towards your goals that you've already set and they will come to fruition through using this information here, or it could be setting new goals for yourself and gaining the clarity you need to bring your change in. Either way, the universe will support you to bring in this transformative change that's ahead. It's a heavy reading here, a very heavy reading, Leo. Ground. Ground. It's time to ground and centre your energy and be truly present in your life. Absolutely. Making good grounded decisions for yourself here. Nature. Re reconnect with nature, feel the sun in your skin and walk barefoot in the grass, take a walk, take time out. We always do that best. It helps us reflect and it helps us with our decision making. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.